So in this video, I'm going to briefly talk about prokaryotic transcription and translation. In future videos, I'm going to go more in depth on the transcription and translation part. But for this video, it's mostly to just give you an overview of prokaryotic transcription and translation and compare it to how it differs from eukaryotic transcription and translation. So the major thing that's going to come up many, many times when you're studying biology or genetics or biochemistry is that prokaryotic transcription and translation are coupled. So this is in contrast to eukaryotic transcription and translation where they're separated. So what do I mean by that? Well, if you look here, this blue line is a strand of DNA. And then you have RNA polymerases, which are these little white blobs, essentially. And then the RNA polymerases are creating mRNA, which are these red strands. And then the mRNA is being translated by the ribosome immediately. And so that's what I mean when I say that in prokaryotes, transcription and translation are coupled. So just as a brief reminder, transcription is a synthesis of RNA from DNA. And in this case, we're talking about mRNA. So remember, the mRNA is the red strand being synthesized from the DNA, which is the blue strand, using RNA polymerase, which is a white blob. On the other hand, translation is the synthesis of proteins from the mRNA. So the ribosomes are these little brown hamburger looking buns and they bind to the mRNA over here in order to create proteins and as you can see from this image the polypeptide which is what makes up a protein is formed from the ribosome and other terms that are going to come up often are polyribosomes so essentially the definition of a polyribosome is when one mRNA strand is attached to many ribosomes. So over here you have a polyribosome, you have a polyribosome here and here and here. By definition it is when mRNA is attached to two or more ribosomes. So prokaryotes couple transcription and translation in order to make many proteins like very quickly. So I'm going to make a future video about eukaryotic transcription and translation, but for now just remember that prokaryotes are single-celled, so they don't have organelles, so they don't have a separate nucleus. As a result, the area where you're making mRNA is going to be essentially the same area as where the ribosomes are. So as you're making the mRNA, the ribosomes can come in and attach the mRNA to create proteins immediately. Now remember, in contrast to eukaryotic transcription and translation, eukaryotes have a nucleus which separates the ribosomes from the mRNA. So remember that in the nucleus is where the DNA is transcribed into mRNA. And then in eukaryotes, the mRNA has to be processed in the nucleus before it's sent out into the cytoplasm where the ribosomes can work on the mRNA to essentially make it into a protein. So the most important thing I hope you got out of this video is that you understand now how prokaryotes couple transcription and translation, and they do this to make lots of protein very quickly. So that pretty much sums it up for this video. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video and found it useful. If you did, please be sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.